for the government of, Bar of Barbados is responsible for the delegation at the ILO. Let me go a little further though and to say that one of the concerns that the Congress has had is that in the eyes of, Bar of Barbadians, this Congress is the umbrella body for the labor movement. Situ Saab is a household name in this country. Situ Saab, up until now, has no international affiliations. Situ Saab is desirous of having international affiliations and regional. Let me say that the question of the ILO is not about, uh, about uh, affiliation. You can't affiliate to the ILO. So when I speak of that, I speak of other, or other, or other institutions and organizations, especially the Caribbean Congress of Labor. So the matter of how this will affect is very dependent on how it is handled. And that handling, in my view, must not seek to pull Barbados as a country down. It must not seek to embarrass Barbados as a country. Because in the eyes of the world, this social partnership is one that is held up. It was born out of adversity. It has lived through a period of relative prosperity. We are back in a very difficult period of adversity. And we intend to be around to be able, as a partner within that partnership, to see us through that adversity. The Congress and its 12 affiliates is united around this matter. Change being needed does not imply that things are being done incorrectly previously. Because situations change. And when situations change, individuals, companies, <coughs> countries, and indeed the world have to make the changes and adjustments to suit those changes as they see them. So when I speak of change, I'm not decrying the past, or uh, we're not saying that anything that was done in the past was incorrect. All we're saying is that we can't carry the past into the future. We have to recognize that to go into the future, sometimes we have to sometimes not even know what it is, but know that the, 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 the things you did in the past can no longer take you into the future. The question of whether we have discussed this, yes. The question of whether we have been at on, on, on it, I would say um, that has been quite questionable. We have never had to bring it to a vote. This time we did. This organization on my, on, on Soroy's dimitting, dimitting of office, bestowed upon him the honor of being an honorary life vice president. That honor, that honor <coughs> gives him the privilege to attend any of our functions, including the executive board. On more than one occasion, Soroy has attended the meetings of the executive board and has made his contributions to the deliberations. Let me say that from time to time, I have had discussions with Soroy on matters. So any perception out there that there would have been any particular strain, certainly with me personally, let me um, ensure that that perception does not take any wings, because it is not so. I think that 
this matter may be one which is grounded in what this country needs now, some degree of change, some degree of understanding that what the social partnership represents must now transcend whatever we do as a people and as a country. And the best example that this Congress can is to say, let us be inclusive. Let us understand that we are all in this together. Let us understand that no man is an island and no one of us can stand alone. And that is the message I want to send to Barbadians because I think that from time to time we may have to speak more forcibly on other issues. But the social and economic difficulties that face this country now calls for all hands on there. It calls for an approach that says that each, of, that each boat must be lifted. It calls for an approach that says that knowledge, information must be shared. Because if that does not happen, then this country can find itself in much more serious trouble than it is. So let the word go out from the Congress today that that is the kind of Barbados that we want to build, an inclusive Barbados that does not seek to separate the haves from the have-nots in a way as to make it feel, make people feel that they are marginalized. We cannot afford that. Therefore, in the labor movement of itself, we cannot afford any marginalization of anyone, and the Barbados workers union certainly not. Se separations of this sort are nothing new. And I dare say that they will happen. Because when you are seeking to bring disparate organizations together, although we are all unions, we represent different, different constituencies, and, 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 and we have different backgrounds, different histories. And therefore, it is not easy. Now, the question of whether this matter can be dealt with where we can all come back to, to, to together. And the point you asked about whether we can seek to examine ourselves, I think that is a wonderful point. I think we all need to examine ourselves. We all need to examine why we are here, what we are here for, and how we are going to carry out what our mandates individually are. It's comprised of the executive of officers, some seven of us. And then it's comprised of a representative from each of the affiliates. At that meeting, there was no representative of the Barbados Workers Union as an affiliate, but the first vice president of the Congress is drawn from the Barbados Workers Union, and that officer was pre pre present. The other affiliates of the Congress, and certainly the Congress of itself, have no desire to see anything other than the Barbados Workers Union being able to vigorously and properly represent its members and wherever and if ever this Congress and its affiliates can give support, so we will.